guys, it's Devin and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a one year Isla update, what she's been up to. I am super late putting this up because she's been one for like a month already, <laughs> but that's mom life for you. Haven't had a chance to do it. If you guys are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for future updates by pressing that subscribe button below. And if not, welcome back. I really wanted to have Isla here in this video with me, but she is napping. So, so I will not be waking her up for this video, but I will be putting clips and pictures of her kind of in this video. So we kind of get a little bit some Isla vibes going on because I want to have her in my video. Part of the reason why I can't film this when she is up is because she is like the most active child on the face of the planet. And um, she just does not stop you guys. Cullen was very um, active, but he was kind of self entertaining. Like he would play with his toys. Um, he had his own little alone time sometimes. He just liked to kind of do his thing. Isla is non-stop. Crawling, climbing, touching, poking, like she never stops. That's a personality. She's not quite walking yet. She is like cruising, like with furniture. She'll like walk all over the place, but as soon as she lets go, she kind of just falls to her butt. She's done maybe one or two steps, but that's all she's really doing right now. And it's funny with your first kid, I think you're in such a rush for them to move to each step because you're just excited to like see all the progress. But with your second, you know how much harder it gets and how fast it goes. So I'm just like pushing her down. I'm not actually pushing her down, but I'm not like rushing it either. And I'm trying to enjoy each phase. She's not quite walking yet. She is a big girl. She's starting to thin out. But the last time we brought her to the doctor was like a month and a half ago. She's due for her one year visit soon um, my timing got a little bit off because she was sick in between so it pushed off her like nine month visit anyway um so her height was like off the charts but her weight was like the 75th percentile so i feel like in the beginning she was so chunky because she gained a ton of weight um with that breast milk <laughs> and then she's kind of not been gaining as much weight but she's been growing and that's kind of normal that's what my son did they start thinning out around this time because they're a lot more mobile so yeah but she's really tall which is shocking because there's no one in our family that's like really tall um my brothers and my husband are both like 5'11 i am dutch my mom is 100 percent dutch and the dutch are known to be the tallest in the world so uh, maybe it's like in there somewhere she's getting some height but i have a feeling she's just shooting up and then she's gonna level out a little bit she's wearing about 18 to 24 month clothes just because those legs um if i buy her 12 month clothes they will fit her but she'll grow out of it within like a month or two so i'm just buying everything a little bit bigger so that i can get more wear out of it so that's where we're at with that she still doesn't really have much hair she's got like that baby fuzz thing going on that little rat tail mullet in the back <laughs> business in the front party in the back but uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. And a lot of those, a lot of moms, no offense to you moms, but this is what you do. Maybe it's the hairdresser part of me. I just can't do it. Um, a lot of moms just like let it go because they want their daughter to have long hair. And they're like, oh, eventually it'll catch up. But then they end up having this just really long piece in the back. And I'm just not about that life. I can't do that. <laughs> I feel like soon I'm going to cut the back and just let everything, I'm going to keep cutting the back and letting everything else fill, fill out. Um, I love little girls with tiny little like chic bobs. I think it's adorable. So once it all grows out to a bob, then I'm going to let it grow out from there. So it's a matter of time because that rat tail is just not looking cute. I just can't do it. So soon enough, we'll be getting rid of that. Um, her eyes are still blue. Um, my husband has green eyes and I have like a blue green eye, but a blue green eye, like I have one eye, blue green eyes. Uh, but mine were super blue as a kid and they kind of changed as I got older as of now my son is still blue and My daughter is bright bright blue. So I'm curious to see kind of if they change over time, but as of now both blue-eyed babies um, She has super sensitive skin you guys like Cullen had sensitive skin I feel like when you're very fair you tend to have more sensitive skin like Cullen would get really really red cheeks uh, In the winter or when he was teething and people would always make comments about it. Like are you putting ointment on that? Yes Yes, I'm putting ointment on that. I see that his cheeks are bright red. And they do that with Isla too, which is funny. They're like, what's wrong with her cheeks? Are you doing anything for that? Have you talked to the doctor? I'm like, yes, yes I have. She has eczema. <laughs> or like, I've talked to the doctors. I've mentioned it. I'm not like completely oblivious to this. They, they ask it as if like, I'm not, I don't have eyes and I don't see my child, but I digress. I think they're just, you know, trying to be helpful. But anyway. Both my kids get these super red cheeks. I like get these red cheeks, especially when she's teething. They get really, really red um, in the winter air, which is finally going away now. Um, she would get really, really red cheeks. And um, the only thing that seemed to work was like a really like thick serum. I was using the um, Honest Company, Company Healing Balm, which really worked. 
I was using Aquaphor for a little while. That doesn't like, you know, help my mom, crunchy mama granola heart, but it worked. I actually saw this thing at Nature's Pantry that I want to check out. It's called like the non-petroleum petroleum jelly. So it looked very similar to petroleum jelly, but it's like all natural, which I really liked. So I might be getting something like that. Um, and shea butter, I just put whatever I can that moisturizes your skin on her cheeks and it has helped. But she gets like rashes on her skin, she gets some eczema patches, so I'm always like lubing her up. Um, I think she had what the doctor said was like hay fever a couple weeks ago and she had this like whole side body rash. It has gone away since, but I think it's like a seasonal allergy thing. My husband has lots of allergies um, seasonally, like all year, so I hope that she didn't get that, but I have a feeling that she did. My son really doesn't have that many allergy issues, just some, just some dry skin. But yeah, she's eating a lot of different foods, um, lots of solid foods we're trying. She likes peas and blueberries and grapes and bananas. Um, she likes pasta and beans and rice. Um, so we're just kind of, everything that we cook, I try to give her just like a little bit of it. And um, lots of fruits and veggies she likes. She likes her puffs still. But yeah, she's an eater. She loves to eat. Cullen was not that much of an eater, but she is an eater. <laughs> and she drinks out of a straw already. We moved, she didn't really like the sippy cup, you guys. She went like right to the straw and it took longer for Cullen to get the straw. He does have a speech delay, if you guys are not familiar with um, my channel, my son has a speech delay. And um, they do say sometimes with kids with speech, it takes a little bit longer for them to get the straw just because of the muscles in their mouth. Um, so they do say not to do a bottle or a sippy cup very long and to go to the straw go more to a straw because it helps with that muscle and um, Isla does not have an issue with talking she doesn't stop talking actually uh, which is funny because I'm not used to that like Cullen at her age I didn't know yet that he had a speech delay so I just regarded it whatever he was doing was average and he said like mama dada but she's already like mama dada call call she calls Cullen call call she says Aya she says her name she calls my dog Bapo but she says dog cat sparkle princess flower as you can tell she's very girly when I ask her what a tiger does she's roaring she knows what a monkey like sound does it's like really funny and I don't know if that's like average or if that's more than average just because I'm not used to it but it's funny because she's so drawn to like girly things anything pink anything sparkly anything floral she's like all about it and that wasn't me as a kid I was more of a tomboy I grew up with two brothers I mean I guess I liked girly things but I was like in my princess dress in the mud you know that kind of girl maybe she'll be like that she's definitely like a rough houser like she is not um a dainty little thing like she will like stand her ground when it's when she's around cullen he's very gentle with her but she is like you know this is what i'm doing i'm independent she wants to do it herself she will fight him for a toy she's not back down <laughs> she's a very like feisty fiery stubborn strong-willed um independent girl which will get her a long way in this world so i'm okay with that but it's funny because i was telling my mom a couple weeks ago like isla is just so strong strong-willed and she's so independent like sometimes i just don't know what to do with her because she just will put up a fight and she was like oh well that sounds familiar <laughs> and i'm just like what and she was like payback Devin, that was you as a baby i'm like oh no so she's kind of like a mix between me in that sense because i've always been a very independent person and Josh because Josh is very outgoing and she is like so outgoing every time we go to the store everybody she's like hi 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 and if they don't like acknowledge that she said hi to her she will just like attack them with hi she's like hi 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 <laughs> until they say it back and it's just so funny she just like loves everyone wants to smile at everyone talk to everyone and that wasn't Cullen but like I said Cullen also because of his speech um, was a little bit more like shy, um, but that was I was a little bit more shy. So may, that I don't know if that's from his speech or if that's just his personality. I don't know. So I'm ready to take one year photo soon. I'm really wanting to get her first set of walking shoes. I think it's time for that. So that's going to be happening soon. She's going to get her first set of real walking shoes. And I wanted to show you guys this dress that I got her for a photo shoot. I think I'm going to take her pictures um, instead of getting a professional to do it just because it's so expensive. The past couple years we've done like a um, professional photographer that's one of our friends and he's amazing. He always does great pictures and I always love them but they're expensive and um, maybe when we do like a full-on family photo shoot I'll do it again but for her one-year-old photos I have a really good camera so I was thinking I might just do it myself. But I went on Jane.com 
for any of you that do not know jane.com i've been obsessed with it for a very long time and it's like it changes all the time it's like different boutiques like work with them different small companies um well it'll be like for a limited time that it's on this website but you can get it for like a really good deal and i always find like the cutest stuff on there and i found this dress and i had been looking for um a dress for eyeless photo shoot for a while there's a stink bug attacking me yeah. um for a while and they were expensive what I was looking for. I was looking for like a full length like tool kind of thing. And I'm not gonna spend sixty dollars on like a baby's dress that she'll wear once. So I found this on Jane. It was only twenty bucks and I just love it. Right. Look. So it's like a full to the floor like tool little gown and then it ties around her neck. And it's like a little open back like can we just talk about this for a second can we talk about it like really this is so stinking cute can i have this in my side um anyway um it's i can't even read the brand Hanalexiado? i don't know but anyway it was on jane super cute but they always have adorable little girl dresses on there it actually took me a while to pick this one out and i bought like a dusty rose headband to go with it so even though her birthday was a month ago I was waiting till it's a little warmer to do her photos because I didn't want to do her photos with like no like leaves on the trees. It was freezing. So I wanted to wait till it was good weather to take her pictures. So probably in the next month or two, I'll be taking pictures of her outside for her one year old update. And then I can have some more Isla pictures to bring hang around our house because I feel like our house is like a shrine to Cullen now because he was our first child. So I tried to print out like pictures of Isla this year and like put them out. But you know, we have like huge like canvases of Cullen like from all stages of life around our house. So like, I need to like get on that so that Isla has her own half share of those. So yeah, that is my Isla update. If I forgot anything, If you guys have any questions, please leave that in the comment section below. If you guys also have littles around the same age or younger and you have some stuff that they've been doing that you want to share, please also leave that in the comment section below. I'd like to know. Always curious about what you kiddos are up to. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And again, please click that subscribe button below and that like button. Give us a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Also, check us out on Instagram at Drake's Nest. So I'll see you guys next time.